I am very happy to participate in this special conference organized by CMI and IMSC to felicitate Professor Ramamurthy on his 60th birth year. In this occasion, my gratitude to him. I would like to thank the organizers to provide me this opportunity to present my paper. This is my joint paper with my student, Rahotaman. So let us first consider the Ramanujan congruence. It says that uh, first I will use the notation let mk k greater than or equal to 4 and e1 be the space of modular forms. of weight k for the full group let sk be the space of first forms. And I need one more object. Eh? Let E K one plus zeta one minus K sigma K minus one n Q power n or Q equal to E power two pi i tau when tau is in the upper half plane. B the Isonson series in MK. Then it is known MK is spanned by this one dimension element. Then SK via the Peterson scalar product, this sum is direct and orthogonal. For K equal to 12. S12 yes, is also one dimensional, spanned by the Ramanujan del. And in this case, Ramanujan proved his congruence March 691. Note that del is Tau and Q power n. The idea of talk is how to generalize this. Eh? There are already a generalization by viewing del and eh, E k as eigenforms of the AK operator. And here I would like to generalize this directly by viewing these are the elements of a cusp form and a non cusp form. For that, I would like to use the following philosophical idea. Act one I need MK has actually this is true the base is PR LK where LK dimension of is k over c such that e r has a Fourier expansion of this form and uh, the main ingredient is all the e r all the Fourier coefficient A, E, R, N are integers. 
This is true for every R. I need another fact to derive such congruence. Mk has an element f in this form an q power n where a n need not be integer but rationals. Having bounded denominator. One such is Isonson series. Okay, if you use this factor, fact one and fact two imply first theorem. Sigma k minus one n is congruent to or equal to one to L k sigma k minus one r a e r n modulo n k. What is n k is nothing but a n k by d k is a reduced fraction. Of zeta one minus k by two, which is a rational number. Now, if you put a k equal to twelve, we will get back the Ramanujan congruence. Now, after finding this congruence, I am looking about this uh, appearance of this Fourier coefficient. It so far is not well studied. The Fourier coefficient of a k again form is well understood and they are involving in several arithmetic and we know the right growth of this Fourier coefficient. Apart from this, this Fourier coefficient naturally exists because this mk admits such type of basis. The advantage is here is they are all integers and they appear in the generalization of the Ramanujan congruence. Then obviously why not we try this for the half interval case, what happens there? Because therefore your equation has the special values rather than the multiplicative property. Therefore, to do so, we'll consider the half interval weight case. This one is obvious for the proof, right? E k in terms of the basis element. The first Fourier equation of f and e k are 1, therefore it is e naught plus the rest of Fourier equation we know a e k r e r. And now note that uh, if you compare nth Fourier equation, these Fourier equations are integers. Now this and this have a common rational number, therefore that gives the congruence immediately. That's all. Therefore, in the case of half interval weight, let k greater than or equal to 2 and mk plus half gamma 0 4 be the space of cusp form, modular form. of weight k plus half for the group gamma 0 4. As usual, let us use the existence of two elements, two modular forms. One is basic theta function, weight of and another is another modular form of weight 2 does not divide n sigma on n. The advantage is here it start from 
zeroth Fourier coefficient and there is absent of zeroth Fourier coefficient. And then there is a polynomial ring of uh, theta and f uh, which exactly generate the mk plus half. Using the existence of two elements this and this in the explicit form, we find uh, that mk plus half gamma 0 4 has one such a set basis. That is, I will call again still it is Ej in the same manner. Where Lk plus half plus 1 is dimension of Mk plus half gamma 0 4. Then, if you try to, uh, uh, I am searching the element is obviously Isonson series which is first, first studied by Cohen and then using this Cohen generalized is plus phase. Therefore, I want to look at this element Ej when j restrict to the condition minus 1 power k j is 0 or 1 mod 4. Therefore, I need that one let plus gamma 0 4 be the Cohen plus space consisting f in mk plus half having Fourier coefficient is in this prescribed form. power n. Therefore, the only square mod for your coefficient allowed it to survive all other to be 0. Four. And then Conan basically studied as his thesis work the AK theory for this space and proved that this is as a AK module isomorphic to the integral weight space one fact eh? mk plus half plus gamma 0 4 is particularly isomorphic to m 2 k full space and there is an isomorphism commuting with the whole a k operator sending a k again from here to a k again for and of course multiplicity one result is true. And then in the case of non form part, the work of Cohen, Eisen series, series, what is this? Hk plus r, tau, it is, I will return this in natural form, I need one, therefore I have to consider this. 2k summation d belongs to z minus 1 power k d 0 or 1 or 4 it is a discriminant then this is a special value q mod d where this l 1 minus k d is defined uh, as follows. If D is a fundamental discriminant minus 1 power k D positive, let us define LSD is a usual Dirichlet L series to start by this character and because this is an untrivial character this has an entire uh, extended as an entire function and satisfies the functional equation and uh, through its analytic properties
we have the special value L1 minus K D. Okay. If If D is not fundamental, D is but discriminant of the form D not F square, D not is fundamental with minus 1 power k D not is positive. Use a similar lift we define. D as T naught T dividing F K minus one D by D mu D into eigenvalue device are function. This is a definition for this uh, Cohen function. And these Fourier coefficients are the special values rather than the eigen values of the k operator. And note that uh, it is known that these values are almost all except few, all integers. And here the rational number sitting. Therefore, if you are able to find one such basis in plus space, uh, then we will also derive such type of congruence. That type of congruence is interesting in the simplest case. Okay. For that day, to get one such a basis E j the condition here automatically j restricted is surprisingly if you restrict this this forms belongs to the plus space. for plus gamma 0 4 it is enough to write a k operators a k eigen forms in terms of the ba the original basis element eh? you take f b b and a k eigen forms Eigen form are all, all equal operators, right? F in terms of the basis uh, under the equal operator as orthogonal basis, and of course, the existence this is already proved, they form a basis. Once if you write one basis element in other basis element like this, uh, then it is a linear algebra says that uh, the other element is also expressed uniquely in terms of F, uh, which shows that all ERs belongs to the plus space. Basis, no, M K plus R. Now, once these two base, these two facts exist, then we immediately we write down the congruence. The congruence looks like the following. We have to write HK plus half as I'm 
It's a linear combination of these basis elements. Yeah. And using first Fourier coefficient of HK plus half is 1. Therefore, single out that E naught term separately and proceed as before we see that a nth Fourier coefficient is D is congruent This is nth for equation is A A E R mod D. This is modulo N two K. This is a congruence. I think this congruence for the simplest case was obtained by Neil Koblitz. Okay, next to my question is does there exist any other natural elements in the spaces other than this Isonson series? Obviously, his answer yes. Say. For example, if you consider the other sister organization like Jacobi forms or Ziegel Mandler forms, say, they obviously provide a positive answer for this question. Therefore, to explain this, say, I will consider the Jacobi forms. odd with the space of Jacobi forms of weight k plus 1 index 1 for the full group and then I shall have zag here produced Isonson series E k plus 1 comma 1, but it is a two variable function, one is in the upper half plane, another is in the C variable, complex variable. Okay, if you compute the Fourier coefficient, we get the following in the constant term as usual 1 plus the same number reciprocal of zeta 1 minus 2 k times because of two variable I need two indices. This R square less than 4 n. Then this function is surprisingly the same as the Cohen function. So this is E n tau plus R is it. 
e x is e power 2 pi i x. The only change is writing the Fourier expansion, but apart from that Fourier coefficients are same. Okay, the advantage is as uh, several persons including Professor Cohn told that uh, there is a Taylor coefficient. That is if you treat this as a function of r and put z equal to 0, this is no longer the Waller form of half interval weight. They are all integral weight for your coefficient. That is a big advantage studying this space. Therefore, the fact is the element See, note that uh, we have the reciprocal of zeta 1 minus 2 k still as a function of n or belongs to z uh, r square less than 4 n l 1 minus k r square minus 4 n e n tau this is modular form belongs to this one. Now note that this has a right property that is a Fourier coefficient first Fourier coefficient 1 and there is a common denominator and the rest is are all rational numbers. Therefore, we should get a congruence of the both type Ramanujan congruence and here the congruence is interesting. Then if you write this congruence what we will get eh? and also I will I will do one more thing say eh? we can embed this element in the mass space eh? uh, that embedding is obviously gives a Siegel Eisen series that is eh? for each for each m there is a k type operator. Vm introduced on Jacobi form it maps JKL into JKLM and preserves a space of Isensen series and mapping Kasparm into Kasparm. And this operator is given explicitly in terms of the Fourier coefficient. If this is a Fourier series, This bar Vm is nothing but summation r square less than or equal to 4m nl. This is summation d dividing m, d dividing n, d dividing r, d power k, c, m1 by d square, r by d. this is an operator and once I introduce this operator if phi is j k 1 then summation m greater than or equal to 1 phi bar v m this is a two variable function e power 2 pi i m tau dash is in the mass space. in degree 2 weight k plus 1 for smaller forms. Therefore, in particular the this as I here proved that uh, the lifting of e k plus 1 1 through this way is end with the Siegel Eisen series. Therefore, if you consider the Siegel Eisen series and at z equal to 0, you equivalently consider this same thing but with slightly different. Consider, let us consider. One plus is one by
equal to 1 E and tau. This for every and you call this F m and this is obviously in k plus 1. That is a Taylor coefficient of Siegel license series results with again a modular form of integral weight with required property. Then if you write down this uh, that series uh, congruence explicitly what you will get the following. Now we need nth Fourier coefficient that is given by R belongs to Z, R square less than 4 m n into summation d dividing m, d dividing m, d dividing R, d power k, this is d power k, I know L one minus K R square minus four M N by D square and this is congruent to J equal to one to L and this is note that it is a form in M K plus one. Therefore I will go for the dimension of cusp form M K plus one. And then the same thing, but in the place of n, I have to put j. j d power k l j by d square into a E J N. This is modulo N. This modulo N because of this number. Zeta 1 minus 2 K. Therefore, it is 2 K. Therefore, in the simplest situation, since we are working with K odd, the K 11, 11 plus 1. 12 m 12 therefore put k equal to 11 I will get the congruence satisfied by Ramanujan tau function minus 10 is congruent to it's a one dimensional space suppose there is no j there is no because j equal to 1 d obviously 1 therefore this is minus 10 4 m this number comes separately the remaining is tau n in 22 This is an interesting congruence satisfies by Ramanujan tau function with the Dirichlet special value Lisa of L function. This comes from by looking the Fourier version of the Eagle series and the phenomena I have explained. 
5 more minutes I have. Okay. So for the next idea is one can do it for other forms also. For example, if we can look into the half entire weight Jacobi forms, then we can write these type of elements. We are working. At present, we have computed what is that I Sanson series whose Fourier coefficient I will write. It interestingly eigenvalues of the AK operator like integral weight case. Say in the Jacobi form of integral weight, I Sanson series has a Fourier coefficient which are all the special values of L function. Whereas if you do the same computation for the Jacobi form of replacing k by k plus of look at the group gamma 0 4 then the Eisen series Fourier coefficients are Fourier coefficients of integral weight. K should be odd. 13, 26. 13, the right hand side is 0, right? Because there are no cusp forms between 14. And so, would you get a new congruence? 26, yes. So, if you go to the next case, yeah, for K is 13, do you get something new? Because there is no cusp form, right? Yes, yes. Maybe I have to look into whether that. Uh, but D naught image of Eisen series it seems to be never zero. The restrictor map on Eisen series is never zero. If it exists. Zero or low? Yeah. Uh. Okay, I will look into. So we can define, we can consider a similar space for index one. For gamma 0 4, and if you compute the Eisen series, turns out to be 1 plus <coughs> 2 power k. into 2 power k minus 1 summation d belongs to z d square mark for d negative
minus eight mod d. Therefore, using the previous equation, can write the congruence for these divisor functions again in terms of that uh, basis element. And then I hope that I will stop here.